We have a problem. Our show's due today, and we have nothing filmed. Well, that's definitely a problem. We're gonna need a shooter. I've got an idea. Scene four, take 47. I'm sorry, babe, we're just over. I, why? I feel like we had a connection. I just cut, 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 cut. What are you thinking? We need a cameraman. Yeah, okay. We're gonna need an editor. I might know a guy. But how are we gonna get there? We're gonna need a ride. So I say a ride? Are you kidding me? Hey Jack, I need you to edit something. Alright. Coming right up, another teacher tale in Legends of the Faculty. Get the inside scoop on the upcoming Spirit Week and an all new episode of Freezing with the Falcons. Today is Friday, April 22nd and the Ridge starts now. Okay class, that's all we've got for today. Go ahead and close your computers and work on whatever you have for the rest of the day. Hey Hinkley, tell us a story. The year was 1994. I was a senior in high school, sitting in my AP Biology class. This teacher, I can't even tell you how boring he was. He had an overhead projector and all he ever did was talk from it. He would read from it with his finger and point along as he went. The only thing I ever got from the class was reading from the book. I got home and I was reading this information about how sleep is super important, otherwise you go crazy. So the next day in class, he tells us that sleep is actually detrimental to people and that we would be way better off if we never slept. So I raised my hand in the most polite way and I'm like, Mr. So-and-so, so when I was reading in the book, it tells us that we actually go crazy if we don't get sleep. He lost his freaking mind and started yelling at me. And he tells me to get out of his classroom and go to the principal's office. I have never been so embarrassed in my life. I'm walking out, I go to the principal's office and the principal starts laughing at me. And he's like, don't worry. He kicked out the valedictorian last year and I had to go to class the next day with the same teacher. What does this have to do with the lesson? Come take AP Biology. I promise I won't scream at you or kick you out. We have lots of labs and a lot of fun. Awake, dear heart, awake. Thou hast slept well. Awake. Dear teachers, only one more month left. We know it's been a long year. We know it's annoying when we procrastinate our assignments and ask for extensions. We know we can be loud and say annoying things. But we see you. We appreciate all of the extra hours you put in. We're grateful for all the grading you do and the important things you teach us. So thank you. Sincerely, the students. Sincerely, the students. Sincerely, the students. Sincerely, the students. Chocolate milk on the rocks. attention you do not know spirit because but I like uh. <sighs> and then S spirit week I don't know what that is but just give me a couple days and I'll figure it out I swear 
No, no, no. Tony, Tony, Tony. You know I can't let this go unpunished. Alfonso, teach him a lesson. No, 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 no! Wait, 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 wait! No! Anyway, so that's the lesson. Oh, okay. So, what's Spirit Week again? Oh, it's just a week celebrating school spirit. Oh, and you said something about clothes, right? Yeah, it's kind of crazy. Monday, we wear monochrome. Tuesday, we dress up like a meme. Wednesday, we wear a crazy hat. Thursday is anything but a backpack day, where we bring anything that's not a backpack to carry your school supplies. Friday is Falcon Friday, which means sophomores wear gray, juniors wear white, and seniors wear orange. Oh, okay, thanks Alfonso. Anytime, Tony. My name is Mariah Anderson. I've been dancing for about seven years. There's a lot of competition in dance. A lot of girls do it, especially in Utah. And, you know, sometimes when you look around the classroom, you can realize that you're not the best person in there. You don't have the most experience or the most, most skill that, you know, it takes a lot to push through that and be able to work hard. But once you do, just the satisfaction of being able to say, I can dance, I'm a dancer. I can get up on that stage and do all these tricks and all these hard things. Dance is definitely something I can just kind of go out and do and not have to have anything else on my mind because when you're dancing, you're just thinking about the dance and the music and the counts and the girls around you and you don't have to worry about anything that's going outside just with friends or family or school or anything else you can just focus on your dance and it really is a great support system with everyone who's in it you know you can find lifelong friends in there you can trust your coaches and teachers and dancing really is just for everyone you don't have to be a great technical dancer or super flexible as long as you love to dance you totally should and you totally can. <laughs> What's up guys? Welcome to Freezing with the Falcons where we bring athletes and ice baths to you. We ask them the questions you want to hear as we get deeper in the ice and the conversation. You ready? Here we go. What's up, guys? Welcome to this week's episode of Freezing with the Falcons. I'm here with my close friend, Cole Barker. Why don't you introduce yourself, introduce your position? I'm Cole Barker, and I'm the goalie. <laughs> Tell me, Cole, what is your primary goal as a goalie? To not get scored on. <laughs> All right, guys, it's time for round two. You know what that means. It's time to get deeper in this ice and the conversation. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> Woo. Cole, have you ever gotten a red card? Yes. <laughs> Could you tell us the story behind it? We were playing this team in Ogden, and we were up like 4-0. There's like two seconds left, and they scored a goal, and they wanted to grab the ball. And I don't remember what happened, but I watched the film, and I punched the guy in the face, and I got a red card. I'm not looking forward to this, but it's time for round three, which means all the way down. Like head under? All right. <laughs> what's your favorite? What's your favorite song? Um, I want it that way. You are my fire, the one desire. Tell me why. <laughs> <laughs> All 
All right, time for the bonus round. We decided to just go all the way under. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Guys, it's too late. The show's already over.